Hello, Lafayette Lions. This is Mrs. Galicchio showing you about counting money. So first, you want to take out your notebook and write down the name of the coins, their values, and something about the purpose. So we'll start with the penny. The penny is this copper one. The only one that's copper. It's written with the cent symbol, which we don't see that often. Here's what the back of it looks like. And this is how we mostly will see it and write it. With the dollar sign, zero, decimal point, or dot, period, zero, one. The zero, one is really important for the penny. It's only one cent. The nickel is the first of our silver coins. If you see a nickel in real life, it is a little thicker and fatter than the other coins, smooth around the edges. It is worth five cents. And we write it like this, the dollar sign zero, the decimal point zero five. It's really important that you have that zero five just like the penny has the zero, one after the decimal point. The dime is the tiniest one. And in real life, if you feel a dime, the edges are have ridges around them and it's very thin. It is worth 10 cents. Here's the back of it. We write it with a dollar sign, zero, the decimal point, 10. You see how this is 10? So that's why the penny is really important that you write the decimal point zero one, because if you put a one after the decimal point, that would actually be 10 cents. Okay, and that's the dime. Then we have the quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. Here's the tail side, it's what we call the back of it, the heads and the tail. And we write it like this, dollar sign, zero, decimal point, 25. Then we have the half dollar. This one's a little more rare. We don't see it as often, but it's larger than the quarter and it is worth 50 cents. It's half of a dollar, 50 cents. So we write it with the dollar sign, zero, decimal point, 50. Okay, so when we're counting pennies, we count by ones. When we're counting nickels, we count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, so on. The dimes, we count by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. And quarters, this is really important that you count quarters by 25. It goes like this 25, 50, 75, $1. Let's do that again. Do it with me. 25, 50, $75, $1. And then the half dollars, we count them by $50, $1. All right, so now let's practice counting. Here I have some change that I used from this website for counting change. And this website will be attached to the classwork that is on the next page and on the test at the end of this week, when you take the test, um, you will be able to use this website to help you count change. So what you do is click right here to get the coins, just the coins. This one has it with their value behind it. It can be a little confusing. So you just click right here to get the coins and then each coin you click on will come over and you can move them around. What's also great about this is you can press this button down here to flip it over to the tail side. And this is my favorite. This button right here, the drawing tool, allows you to draw on it, which is really helpful for counting change. All right, so let's start. The first thing I wanna do is arrange my change, my coins in their value of the greatest to the least. So I did that really quick for you. So I have my quarters, then my dime, nickel, and penny. 
Now I'm going to count it. Let's see if you remember how to count those quarters. Count them with me. 25, 50, 75. All right, so we have 75 cents. Notice how I wrote it with the dollar sign, zero decimal point 75. Then we have our dime, which is worth 10 cents. So we add on to our 75 cents to make it 85 cents. Then our nickel is worth 5 cents. Don't forget that, zero five. And I add that to make it 90 cents. And our penny is worth one cent. So I add that to the 90 cents to make it 91 cents. All right, let's keep going with another example. So in this example, my change is all over the place. I need to organize it. So let's start by counting those quarters. Let's see if you remember. 25, 50, 75. Good job, 75 cents. Then I add 10, 20, 30, 40 cents to it. And you can do that by adding 40 cents right here to 75, just the way you would add 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 4 is 11. So I would write a 1 and then bring the, regroup the, the other one over to the um, dollar place. And then I would have $1.15. Or you can count on 75, 85, 95, $1.05, $1.15. Or you could also use the little touch method, which you may have heard of, where you touch the top, bottom, left, and right, and middle of a quarter and count by fives. A dime, you do the top and bottom, and a nickel, you just do the middle. So I would do 25, 50, 75. 80, 85, 90, 95, one dollar, five, ten, fifteen, and then the nickel would be twenty. Another way you could do it is you could count up your quarters and get seventy-five cents, and then you know that one more quarter would make it one dollar. So you can use two dimes and this nickel to be your quarter to make it one dollar and then you can just count one dollar ten one dollar twenty that's another way you could do it too one two three four five six seven eight added together would be one dollar and twenty eight cents let's do one more example but this time i'm not going to move my change around. I am going to show you how to do it without moving it. So you can draw right on top of it or use your fingers to count on top of it. So let's go through. One dollar, now we're going to our quarters. One dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five, and two dollars. So now I'm going to go to the dime. $2.10, $2.20, now to the nickels, $2.25, $2.30, cents. $2 now I go to my pennies, $2.36 and $2.37. All right, so I have $2.37. The last way I'm going to show you to count, count money is by using a chart. So you can have your dollars, I just put a Q for quarters, a D for dimes, an N for nickels, and a P for pennies. And I wrote down how many I have of each. So now I would just add in the amounts. So one dollar would be one dollar. Four quarters is two dollars. Two dimes is 20 cents, so I would add 20 cents to my two dollars. Three nickels is, third, is 15 cents. 
So I would add 15 cents to my $2.20, making it $2.35. And then two pennies is two cents, so I would add that, making it $2.37. like that. So you can use any three of these ways to count money, and count change, and organize it in a way that is helpful to you. You can even use this website if you need to. I will attach it to the next page and to your test at the end. Good job, everyone.